Hey guys, hi, happy Training Tuesday. I am Kim Irwin, I'm an independent consultant with Arbonne International, and happy that you're here with me today. Appreciate it. Today, I um, wanna talk a little bit about a book that I'm reading. <clears throat> it's called Dare to Dream and Work to Win. It is by Dr. Tom Barrett. And um, there's a lot of information in here about specifically network marketing. That's not what I'm gonna necessarily talk about today, but I do wanna bring some of these ideas, or in this case, ingredients, um, just revolving life in general. So many different things that we want success in, whether it's um, personal, whether it you know, could be finances, could be health, could be relationships, could be whatever it is that you want success in. And so there's an area that I was reading about that are the four ingredients for success. So I'm going to read a little bit out of the book, and I, I don't normally do that. I normally like to just talk with you, but um, I do. There are some things that I think are, are kind of important that I will read right out of here. But the fourth, the four um, ingredients for success, and if you want to, you might write this down, okay? Because this is something that you can go back to and just kind of remind yourself, if you are if you don't feel like you're succeeding in an area of your life that you really want to, maybe you need to put these four ingredients in. You know, it's kind of like making a cake, which I don't bake very often. But if, you know, if you don't put all of the ingredients in, it's not going to taste good. <laughs> if you forget the eggs or you forget the flour, I know those go in, um, it's probably not going to taste so good. So maybe you don't have all the ingredients. Here are your four ingredients for this, for success in whatever area that is in your life. Determine what you want. You need to know what you want. We're gonna talk more about that. Number two, what are you willing to reschedule or give up in order to get what you want? Number three, associate with people who will help you get what you want. We're gonna talk about how that happens. And number four, have a plan that works and work the plan. Okay, so number one, determine what you want. Number two, decide what you're willing to reschedule or give up in order to get what you want. Number three, associate with people who will help you get what you want. And number four, have a plan and work your plan. So determining what you want. Um, because, um, let's see, why is that important? Because goals create focus energy, and passion, okay? They strengthen your will. And Lord knows we have a lot of people who need some will in this world. <laughs> um, goals keep us on track when the task seems too big, too difficult, and too far away, okay? Now, this is important. In any significant life endeavor, there will be moments when we experience fatigue, frustration, and doubt. Ever have that happen in your life? In those moments, we are acutely aware of what we're doing, how exactly it is, and how much easier it would be to just quit, right? So much discomfort can be eliminated by just quitting. I hate that four-letter word. And in those moments when we are tempted to take the easy way out, we will ask ourselves, why am I doing this? <laughs> That's a good question. But when we ask this question, we better have a reply that is quick and unequivocating. You better know, why are you doing this? Okay, so there's your reason. And you need to have what they call bulldog tenacity. Why do you do what you're doing? Why do you want your health to be better? Why do you want to join a, um, network marketing? Why do you want to start your own business? Why do you want to make this relationship work? Um, why do you want to stay in your marriage? There've got to be reasons that you can go back to and draw upon that will keep that focus and that energy and that passion lit, okay? Number two. You have to decide, here's a tough one. You have to decide what you're willing to reschedule or give up in order to get what you want. Here's the tough one. Everybody has 24 hours in a day, right? Um, and we all fill them. We fill all of those hours. We have to, right? And so when somebody says, oh, I'm so busy, what they're saying is that's not a priority, 
because if there is something important to you, you will make the time for it. You will. I mean, you got to be honest with yourself on this, right? Um, so you have to stop wishing and start working toward whatever goal that is, all right? Stop making excuses and start making it happen. You just have to do it. You just have to put your foot on the gas pedal and press it down and go. Sometimes you have to do this. Five, four, three, two, one. Make the phone call. Five, four, three, two, one. Send that text message. Five, four, three, two, one. Go and apologize. Whatever it is. Okay, so how can this second ingredient reveal so much so quickly? Because when you're talking to somebody and you're like, okay, so what is it that you want? Okay, what are you willing to give up? And why is this so revealing? <clears throat> it says, because it is the Rubicon which must be crossed. Um, yeah, if you are not willing to do or pay the price for success, whatever that means, maybe it's not eating sweets, um, and will not submit to self-discipline in order to turn dreams into reality and will not work to become a winner, then you don't have what it takes to make future dreams become reality. That's harsh. That is harsh, but it's true. Think about it, guys. What do you have in your life? I hope that you use this, okay? Use these four ingredients to find some success in your life, whatever that is that you're trying to succeed at. But you have to be, you have to be raw, you have to be real, you have to be honest, okay? Um, let's see. So the next one, <laughs> I love this. The third ingredient, associate with people who will help you get what you want. And they say that you are the average of the five people that you hang out with the most. The other thing they say is, why would you take advice or follow someone who's more screwed up than you are? <laughs> Think about that. If you're trying to, you're trying to lose weight and you have somebody sitting there eating a bag of Cheetos and they're telling you you're doing it wrong. Hello. <laughs> Maybe don't hang out with that person. Definitely don't take their advice, okay? So you want to associate with people who are going to help you get what you want. What makes association such an important component of success? Through the power of association, we stay focused, energized, and excited, okay? We've heard similar terms again. The beliefs of others impact our own beliefs. This is important. Their courage optimism, and tenacity rub off on us. Association with others can inspire us to new levels of personal vision and determination. Okay, that's why we do coaching, health coaching in Arbonne. When we're doing our 30 days to healthy living, we, there's power in we, we're a group, we're a team, and we coach each other, we inspire each other, we energize each other because Cynicism about life in general and opportunity in particular is all around us. You have to protect yourself. You have to protect your, your vision, what it is you want, and you cannot let anybody break those walls down to prevent you from getting from A to B, whatever that looks like for you, okay? So surround yourself with people who are trying to accomplish the same thing that you're trying to accomplish, I love this analogy. If I'm going to Las Vegas and you're going to Las Vegas, we're going to put that in. We're driving. We're going to put that into our nav system and I'm going to get there a very different way than you're going to get there, right? But our end result is in Las Vegas. We both meet up there, but our journeys look so different. But we both have the common belief and the common end goal. So we're going to support each other. We're driving. I'm lost. <laughs> So you're going to say, hey, listen, do this. This is how you're going to get back on track. That's where the support and association comes in. And, and you are, you're going to start questioning your sanity. You're going to doubt if you have the stamina and the skill. And those naysayers, man, they are going to erode your confidence in whatever it is, whether it's your company, whether it's your products, whether it's your ability to um, maybe you, you want to run a race. Maybe you want to do a 5K. You're going to have naysayers that are like, you've never run before. Nobody's chasing you. Why would you run? <laughs> you got to get away from those people. Okay, and the very last one. 
Have a plan that works and work that plan. All right, you seriously need to. Number one, you have to write it down. You have to write, write it down. The issue is not which plan are you using, but do you have a plan at all? Okay, that's just a wish. If you're not going to write down what you want and how you plan to get there, that's nothing. It's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. So um, there are six steps for it. Jot these down. Number one, have your dream. What's that dream? Um, break the dream down into uh, component parts or phrases. Um, I don't really have a good example of this, but... You know, maybe we take exercise again or we take um, the healthy living, okay? I will eliminate coffee. There's one. I will eliminate sweets. But by what date? You need to be really specific. Set goals that reflect the component parts or phrases. Just like I said, I'm going to stop drinking coffee by day four, okay? Something like that. Number four, develop a plan, Here's your plan, long-term, intermediate, and short-term. All these different goals so that you can achieve it. You're not going to eat the entire elephant. You're going to take little bites, and then eventually the elephant will be eaten completely. Um, make your schedule reflect your plan. If you are looking at your day timer or your planner, and it doesn't show anything that's going to help you get to where you want to be, you won't, you won't get there. You just won't get there. Stick to your schedule. So what do you have to do? You have to write it down. You have to know where you're going. Use those four ingredients um, and, and see what it does. Test it. Test it out. Uh, I, would, I am, would challenge you right now. How many of you have any goals? Short-term goals. Are they written down anywhere? Do you carry them with you? I would suggest that if you're serious about something, write down those goals and maybe make three copies. One for yourself, where, where you work a lot, you know, where you're typically at in your home space. Um, one that you carry with you and one for one of those associates that you're going to be hanging around. Okay. Because when times get tough and you're not dropping weight or you're not exercising or you're not, your business isn't growing as quickly as you want it to, somebody can remind you, hey, listen, this is your goal. You knew it wasn't going to happen overnight. It takes work. Are you working it? So I hope this is helpful for you. I'm sure everyone has a goal out there. So try those four ingredients, put them into practice, see if it does it. I bet you it will. Okay. I hope you have a great Tuesday. Thanks for joining me. I will see you in a week.